The percentage of all U.S. Catholics who are Hispanic has been increasing for decades now. There's no doubt the future of the church lies in part with this community. A recent study of Catholic parishes with Hispanic ministries from Boston College and CARA reports that Latinos made up about one quarter of U.S. Catholics in the 1980s and are now about 40 percent of the Catholic population today. Latino ministries, funded in part by the annual Catholic Appeal, are thriving in the Diocese of Springfield. Reporter Julie Bollier attended several of their events this past year and prepared this report. Faith is alive and growing among our Latino community in the Diocese of Springfield, which is evident through their recent activities and celebrations says Bishop Rosansky. From the time that I arrived in Springfield, I was given a very warm welcome uh, by the members of the Hispanic community, given a great briefing on Hispanic ministry throughout the diocese, and uh, also had the ability to celebrate confirmation with our Latino community at All Souls. And so I've been able to witness a very vibrant faith in our Latino community. And this past Saturday, I was able to begin the men's conference, the Latino men's conference that also happened here at Elms College. And this evening, I've been given the great privilege to be at the graduation of those who have attended uh, the sessions that have deepened their faith and deepened their knowledge of the church and the sacraments and help them to be better witnesses to the Lord Jesus in the world. So it's really wonderful to share in the great ministry that takes place uh, among our Latino people and, and with them. Here tonight at Elms College, Latinos from throughout the diocese are celebrating their accomplishments. Zenaida Ortiz plans to share her new knowledge with her students. The course offered at Elms College, Joy of the Liturgy, is an advanced lay formation program for Spanish-speaking individuals who currently are leaders in their parish or those interested in parish leadership. Recipient Carmen Lugo does charismatic renewal at St. Michael's Cathedral in Springfield. She enjoyed reading Pope Francis's new document, Evangeli Guadium, The Joy of the Gospel, which is an apostolic exhortation. We need to read the encyclicals, we need to read the exhortations, and we need to know what more about what the Pope is trying to tell us. It will help me a lot to go out and do more evangelism, go, you know, go out, out of the parish and try to evangelize other people because um, that's what it's all about, evangelizing and being happy. The Pope is telling us to enjoy, to have the joy of the gospel. That evening, eight people received certificates. Continuing to share in their faith, both the Latino men's and women's conferences were held last fall in Spanish. Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky opened the fourth annual Latino men's conference and was followed by speakers Nicholas Sanabria and Benny Espilat. Today we, we talk about the responsibility of we as baptized uh, Catholics the responsibility of sharing the good news, but not just every Sunday come to church, but also what happens after Sunday, from Monday to Saturday, what happens. And today we focus the, the topic that we live in a very busy society, and it's up to us to take responsibility and make choices that will help the families, that helps the community at large and to get involved at the local level of the church. Like the men, Latina women shared and celebrated their faith during the Light of Jesus Hispanic Catholic Women's Conference, also held at Our Lady of the Elms College last August. Women carried lanterns symbolizing the light of Jesus, a light that shines in all who are baptized. Keynote speakers were Deacon Angel Perez and Ernestina Diaz. My hope they will really um, will have an opportunity to, um, to practice uh, whatever they already received through the baptism. But you receive the light, so the light will shine on them for their family, for their children, for the neighbors, and especially for those people who really do not know, those women who really are still suffering because they don't know any better. 
This gathering concluded with a 315 Mass celebrated by Monsignor Christopher Conley, Vicar General of the Diocese. Latino ministries continue to prosper throughout the Pioneer Valley among a vibrant community that loves to celebrate its faith. I'm Julie Bollier reporting for Real to Real. For more information on Latino ministries, you can contact Andres Lopez at a.lopez at diospringfield.org or by dialing 413-452-0638. Or you can find a link on our website at iobserve.org.